1.8 kilogram fan cart is moving to the right by generating a 0.7 newton thrust. Neglect rolling resistance and drag. All right, in this problem, we have a fan cart, and we're going to start off by listing all the things we see in Newton's second law. So net force, mass, and acceleration. We're also going to draw the forces acting on the cart. So we have weight down caused by the earth. We have a normal force upwards caused by the contact with the surface. And we'll have a thrust to the right caused by the fan pushing air. And in return, the air push pushes the fan to the right. All right, so 1.8 kilograms in our problem is going to be our mass. And 0 0.7 newtons is the thrust. So I can first, the first step of almost all of my problems is to calculate the weight. So to find the weight, I know the earth pulls down on every kilogram with 10 newtons of force. You might be using 9.81. So we do 1.8 times 10, and that will give us 18 newtons for the weight. And again, that was the mass. 10 to get the weight. Then I know that since the fan cart is not accelerating up or down, the normal force and the weight are going to balance each other out. So the normal force is 18 newtons as well. All right, that means the only force that is left over is going to be my thrust, which is 0 0.7 newtons, and that is my net force as well. All right, lastly, I can use Newton's second law to find my acceleration. So my acceleration will be my net force divided by my mass, so 0 0.7 divided by 18, or excuse me, divided by 1.8. And that gives me an acceleration of 0 0.389 meters per second squared. The units come out to meters per second squared because a newton is the amount of force required to accelerate one kilogram at one meter per second squared. So that is why the acceleration comes out in meters per second squared. All right, filling out the answers on the left side, I had three forces acting on the fan cart. The normal force was 18 newtons. The net force was 0 0.7 newtons. The acceleration was 0 0.389 meters per second squared. Make sure you put in three sig figs there. And the fan cart speed, well, the fan cart is moving to the right. The larger force is to the right, so the speed would be increasing. A 60 kilogram teacher, including the parachute, is skydiving. Before opening the parachute, the teacher experiences a 360 newton drag. All right, so to start this problem, I'm going to set up by listing net force, mass, and acceleration and drawing my forces. I know I have weight downwards caused by the earth, and I have a drag, as it states in the problem. That's due to air resistance. Since the person is moving down, the drag is going to be upwards. So um, 360 newtons is my drag, and 60 kilograms is the mass. I can always find the weight by multiplying the mass times 10. So I get 600 newtons. And again, you might be using 9.8. Next, I can find the net force. So I know I have weight acting downwards, drag acting upwards. Those are going to be, those are in opposite directions. So I'm going to subtract those since they're fighting against each other. And that gives me a net force of 240 newtons. Lastly, find the acceleration, I can use Newton's second law and divide the net force by the mass. 240 divided by 60, my net force over mass equals 4 meters per second squared. So we had two forces acting on the object with a net force of 240 newtons. The acceleration was 4 meters per second squared. And in this case, I'm going to look, and I see that the, based on these motion lines, the teacher is moving downwards. The larger force is acting downwards. And that means that the speed will be increasing. I have more force pulling in the direction that the object is moving, and that always causes an increase in speed.